Hi, Sean. Hi. When I watched this movie, I said to myself, okay, he must have some vendetta against producers in Hollywood. Uh, let's just say that there are certain models for that, po uh, for that role, uh, certain appalling people that I've met in my years in Hollywood. But since I do want to work again, I'm not going to name names. Okay, good. <laughs> but I mean, it, we always say that movies exaggerate things. But you know what? We don't. No. Every cliche about Hollywood is true. That's not to say there aren't good people, but there are definitely people and producers who are every bit as absurd as Marty Wolf. Marty Wolf and almost half of Hollywood is Jewish, like the both of us. So I don't know what it says about us that, you know, they're so revolting at times. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I refuse to be a self-deprecating Jew. Um, no, proudly Jewish. And um, yes, it's true, there are a lot of um, tribe members in uh, the film business, but uh, I don't think that the uh, appalling people are limited to Jews. Do you identify yourself? I mean, you can't hide with a name like Levy, but do you identify yourself as... Yes, but you see, I always kind of feel like I'm undercover, because my first name is Sean, which is, of course, not particularly Jewish um, and, you know, Irish. So occasionally, I, I, when I'm in Israel, for instance, and people say, what's up with the Sean Levy? It's confusing. What are you? Um, the, the story that I tell is the fact that my parents, when I confronted them, I said, why not, you know, Josh, Ben, Max, what's up with Sean? Um, they claim that it's actually a combination of Shaddai Natan. Um, so whether that's an after-the-fact justification or a true story, you know, I'll accept it. But you know what? There are kids in Israel who are called Sean, so yes. it's, it's okay. My Hebrew name being Chaim. Uh, so I'm often, uh, I go by Chaimke when, uh, when I'm around my Israeli friends. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like it. <laughs> Did you find a Jewish wife? My grandparents are going to love these questions. <laughs> Uh, yes, I did. Um, the truth is, I mean, if you really want to talk about this, um, yes, it was growing up, it was something that was important to my grandparents in particular. Um, I would say that it didn't become truly important to me until I went to Israel. I've since been back several times. And if you, you know, the truth is, there is a certain understanding. There is a certain inarticulated, un, you know, difficult to articulate kinship that comes uh, from that similarity of background. And my wife and I couldn't explain why it feels right, just that it feels right. So do you yeah. teach your kids uh, Judaism, Yiddishkeit, and all that? Absolutely. Um, my daughter goes to uh, you know, a, a, a shul preschool, a synagogue preschool. And uh, actually, this past Hanukkah was, uh, was you know, L'chadlik Nering right alongside us. So uh, she's two and a half. I was thrilled to see it. I videotaped it and sent it to my grandparents. Wow. <laughs> so you were talking about that you went to Israel several times. Did you ever think of maybe doing some project in Israel? Um, I would love that. In fact, um, I was really, it was such a powerful experience for me um, that I wanted at, the, at, at, at that time to do a documentary of a diaspora Jew um, you know, an American, or in my case, Canadian Jew, who kind of doesn't truly connect to their Judaism until they travel um, to Israel. Because it really moves you in, in profound ways, and I think in really important ways. Um, and those are, those are awarenesses that I have not lost in the years since. Well, we will certainly look forward to that. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks. I really enjoyed it. Good. Thanks, man.